Hey guys, this is Jeff with As Seen in the South. Today we are exploring one of our favorite places in all of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That's right, it's Cades Cove. Come on, let's go together and see what this place has to offer. So those of you that are familiar with this area will immediately recognize this as the tunnel, Boat Mountain in uh, Cades Cove. And uh, we're going to go, and it's a rainy day, but we're going to go and we're going to explore Cades Cove a little bit. Try to experience something of what it was like to live in the 1800s. There's a few turkeys. We've seen a lot of turkeys today. We've stopped so far um, at the Cable Mill Historic Area. And we're going to go and look at a few buildings and uh, kind of check them out. I love this uh, split rail fence. This is uh, just kind of typical of what you might see on a farm in the Appalachian Mountain in that area. This building over there is, uh, this building right there, is a blacksmith shop. There are times, certain times of the year where they do demonstrations. This little circle area, you'll have the rangers giving classes and talks. Over here on the right is a press, a sorghum press. Make syrup there. Take their, their cane and squeeze the juices out and boil it down and make syrup which is good, by the way. Let's take a look inside the house. This is the Becky Cable House. It was built in 1879 with lumber from the cable mill. Hmm. It is believed to be the first all-frame house in the cove. Originally, 
located south of the present location on Forge Creek Road. Huh. It's kind of neat. Nice fireplace. Little stove. I read that this was um, used as a store before it was actually used as a house too, so. I don't believe in having tall doorways. Another chimney. Rebecca Cable, Aunt Becky. She never married and she owned over 600 acres in the cove. Wow. She bought this house in 1887 and lived here until 1940. Huh. Let's go out back. Wow, the way that was built. I'm assuming that was a corn crib. A wagon. And wooden shingles. Rather large barn. They don't believe. <clears throat> they didn't believe in having tall doorways or tall ceilings. A guy my size, he just was out of luck, I guess. Here's the back side of the Cable house. There's a smoke house. There are times when the mill is open and you can buy original wheat and flour here. It is operational. They do demonstrations in there of how to grind the grain, but it's closed today. There's a view from the back side. Another long trough for plume. A long 
bloom. And the water is diverted up above at the creek, brought down to this channel and to the flume and it goes all the way into the mill. So here's where they would divert the water from the river down the channel that would flow into uh, the mill. Anytime they wanted more water pressure or greater water, they just raised the boards over there and it would flow in. Of course, when it was fully operational, they would keep the little creek, the little stream, whatever you want to call it, and they would keep it cleaner of debris limbs and leaves and all that stuff but you can see the water would flow quite a ways to the mill and here's another barn this is the big barn where the wagons and the other farm implements were stored you can see I think that's a is that a hay rake no not a rake it's a cutter that's the rake over here so you have a hay rake and then that would cut it all this top part was used for storage it's really interesting to come here when they are doing the demonstrations I mean it's it's pretty pretty neat to see um, how you know the wheat and the grain the corn with grain into flour meal and to see how a blacksmith worked and and all that stuff nice little river running beside the place well that's going to do it for today guys with our exploring of Cades Cove if you liked our video give it a thumbs up glad you joined us if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel go ahead and subscribe now and hit that notification bell doing that we'll let you know when we upload a new video remember as we say here at as seen in the south life is a journey choose it well and enjoy the ride see you next time